Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm very excited today to announce the launch of Headstamp's most recent book, Small Arms of World War II, The United States. This is the first in a series that we're going to be doing on the small arms of all the various combatant nations in the Second World War, and of course we're starting with the United States. This is a 500 page tome, it is fantastic, uh, featuring the gorgeous photography of James Rupley. He is of course the photographer extraordinaire for Headstamp and the Vickers Guide series of books, and then the text elements are all written by me. And what we wanted to do here was combine James's beautiful photography to create a book that is just a work of art to page through and to look at, with text that balances between the collector urge to you know, identify the five different variations of sling swivel on a particular model against the sort of typical coffee table book trend of basically reciting a bunch of old misproven myths. What I wanted to do was present a book that gives the true history of these firearms that had such a huge role in American military history. Because it's not just the forgotten weapons, the experimental stuff that never went anywhere, that has cool stories to it. The actual guns that got used, well, they got used for good reason, and well most of them for good reason, and they have some really interesting stories and history to them as well, and I want to present that in a format that is easily digestible and fun to read and fun to look at, while not just regurgitating the same old, same old that you've heard everywhere. So. Um, the coverage of this book includes uh, everything up to, uh, well, the biggest gun we have in the book is the Browning M2 heavy barrel, all the way down to pistols. So we have chapters on pistols, rifles, submachine guns, regular machine guns, shotguns, and a few miscellaneous extras at the end of the book. There's some cool stuff in there. Uh, and we're looking, we were looking to do not just the very basic standard arms. But also not, you know, every last idea of, well, you know, two of these were reportedly used in one battle at one point. We wanted to kind of split the difference and cover the guns that saw substantial use in the war. So, for example, with rifles, that of course includes the M1 carbine and the M1 Garand, but it also includes a couple of bolt actions. Of course there is the 1903A4 sniper rifles, the 1903A3 bolt actions, the regular 1903s, which the US Marine Corps took into the, the first couple of campaigns in the Pacific, but also the 1917 uh, Enfield rifles that the US made during World War I, but those actually saw some use during World War II. Of course we talk about the M1C sniper rifles, uh, the Johnson rifles that the Johnson's one of those examples of a gun that's very interesting, very popular, manufactured during the Second World War, only had a very limited use in the war, but it's enough that we wanted to cover it. So similar sort of story applies to all of the other chapters. Our pistols run, for example, from the Colt Pocket Automatics that were used as espionage guns and general officers pistols, through the revolvers that were you know substitute standard handguns, through say the high standard model HD suppressed pistols that were made specifically for the OSS. Anyway, 500 pages in total. Really, I mean if I'm not going to be too much of a braggart about it, really cool interesting commentary and of course James's gorgeous photography. Now we're doing this book in a little bit of a different style than the regular head stamp books. We're simplifying a lot of the elements. So we're not doing a Kickstarter campaign, we're not doing spine hubs, we're not doing some of the really fancy cover art, we're not doing cocktails or cocktail sheets. Uh, we're doing just the book. We have two versions of it, the standard book and a signed copy, that are both available now for pre-order. So there's a link in the description text below of course. And when I say pre-order, what I'm getting at is we have the manuscript completely done and we are anticipating sending it to the printer next week to start the printing process. So we're going to have a much quicker turnaround on this book. Uh, we don't have, we've already done the whole editing process and there's, we're not going to have delays on that as has happened on a couple of our previous head stamp books. So we anticipate arrival of the books in early November, maybe a little earlier than that, but that's the date that, that we're willing to say out loud and we hope to meet. So should be available for Christmas, they'll make a fantastic Christmas gift. Of course once the books are actually in hand we'll be doing an update. Um, so you can pre-order now, you can order when books come in if you're interested in them. But uh, either way the price is $98 for a standard copy and $128 for a signed copy plus shipping. Again all of that's in the description text 
uh, the link in the description text below. So I'm really excited about this one. I think it'll be, it's a fun change of pace to talk about guns that a lot of people actually have and are specifically interested in, and that had a very significant specific impact on US military history. So this one was a lot of fun to write and I'm looking forward to the rest of the series as well in the future. Anyway, if you're interested in this, check out the link, uh, headstamppublishing.com, and uh, I will let you know when the books actually arrive. Thanks for watching.